everyone, welcome back to Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious tart with the pesto that I taught you how to make just a few episodes ago. So it's going to be a pesto tart with halloumi and tomato. So halloumi, tomato and pesto tart. Really simple, really delicious. It's one of those great dishes to make if you're going to a barbecue. Fourth of July is right around the corner. And if you want to go to somebody's house and bring something delicious rather than bringing flowers or something like that, which are really pretty too. But the best gifts are always the ones that you eat and especially the ones that you've made by yourself. And this is one that you're going to want to serve to people that you love because they are going to love you even more. So we're going to go over the ingredients. We need a sheet of puff pastry. I have that right here. I always have it in the freezer. I, I love to pull it out whenever I'm like short on time and I want to put something, pull something together that's really delicious. Puff pastry is definitely a lifesaver. I have my pesto sauce. I'm going to link up in the cards and down in the description box. The recipe is very simple and easy to make. I have halloumi cheese. I have a pint of, these are grape tomatoes that I've sliced in half some pepper, some pine nuts, some oregano, and a little bit of salt, and just a little flour for dusting, and a little bit of olive oil for drizzling on the tomatoes. So I'm gonna begin by seasoning the tomatoes a bit. Just a little drizzle of olive oil, some salt, and uh, some oregano, and a touch of black pepper. That's all you need. We're gonna mix these all up. And that's it. These are ready to go. I think I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny bit more salt just so they could be very nicely seasoned. So I'm going to lightly flour my board right here just a little bit, not a whole ton, just so that way it doesn't stick. Take off the parchment paper. And I'm just going to roll this out just a little bit. You can roll this out into a square or rectangle how, whatever you want your tart to look like, whatever shape you want, that's the shape that you should roll it out to. So I rolled it out into a square this time. I usually do a rectangle, but for some reason this came like a square shape, so I'm going to keep it like a square. I think it looks pretty. I transferred it onto a, a baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper. And now before we do anything else, I'm going to slice my halloumi cheese. do nice medium sized slices. Now it's time for layering. So halloumi cheese, if I didn't already tell you, it's a very briny cheese that's, all, that, that, that's perfect for grilling and heating up because it doesn't melt. It just softens up and it's just really, really nice and the texture is something like I've never had before. It's, it's really nice and it holds together and it's just delicious. So it doesn't need to be seasoned or anything because it's salty as it is and has a delicious flavor. First, what we're gonna do is go all around the edges to make a nice border. We're gonna score it almost all the way down. This edge is gonna puff up and create a really nice border. Just like so. And this method is really nice because it really saves you the hassle of having to fit this in, the t in a tart pan or even having to go out and buy one. And then we're just gonna pierce all of the inside. And what that does is it prevents it from like puffing up so the inside part will stay flat and then the border will become nice and puffy and you'll see what I'm talking about once it's ready. Just like that. We're gonna spread some pesto. So just make sure to spread the pesto only on the inside part of the tart, not on the edges. And then we're gonna create a layer of tomatoes going all across. Then a layer of halloumi cheese. Now if you want to, you can cut this halloumi in half and do shorter layers. Just like that, the halloumi with the pesto and the tomato is just going to go perfect. I'm going to continue making my layers and then I'm going to show you what it looks like right before it goes in the oven. In the meantime, you're going to want to make sure that your oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So that way you don't have to wait for it. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Now, I left those long and I should have really cut them in half. If you, if you cut them in half, then you'll have another layer of tomato and cheese and you can totally do that so that way you don't run out of cheese. 
This is what it looks like. Now last but not least, I'm just going to drizzle some of these, or sprinkle I should say, some of these pine nuts on top and they're going to get toasted in the oven while the tart bakes and it's going to add some crunch and another dimension of flavor which is going to be delicious. And I do have some tomatoes left over which is fine because I can just eat them. I'll put them in some scrambled eggs later or just add them to a salad. But I will take some of this lovely marinade that's left on the bottom and I'll just go around the tart and just brush it just to add some more flavor to it. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to pop this in the oven for between 20 to 25 minutes uh, or until the tomatoes are really nice and caramelized and roasted and the cheese gets also really nice and soft and delicious and I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready. Okay, so my my tart took exactly 25 minutes to bake, but depending on your oven, it's going to vary. So if your oven is really like more, there's, if it's higher or works faster or stronger, it might take a little shorter to bake or it might take a little longer. Just keep an eye on it. And when it looks like this, I'll zoom in and I'll show you just a little bit. That's how you'll know it's ready. Now about the halloumi. The halloumi is very commonly used in the Mediterranean. So in Greece and in Cyprus and all the Mediterranean countries pretty much uh, use halloumi, even the Middle Eastern countries. I found it, I find it every time I go to the Middle Eastern grocery store, they have it. So they definitely use this in their cuisine as well. So if you want to find it, um, I actually found it in Sprouts. If you have a Sprouts nearby where you live, they sell this. Um, but commonly it is sold in the Mediterranean or Middle Eastern food markets. It's just delicious briny cheese and you're definitely going to want to try with this. Now if you come closer, we're going to cut into it and I'll show you what it looks like. Look at how beautiful it is and we have the pine nuts, they've become nice and toasted. Now if you see over here, these right here and right here, kind of like two little air bubbles had formed because I guess they weren't pierced properly. That's not a problem. Don't get scared. As soon as it comes out of the oven, you can just poke it and it deflates and goes right back down. But that's why you're going to want to pierce it really thoroughly with a fork or a knife. I'm going to cut this right now and have a nice delicious piece. This kind of looks like a pizza and it tastes maybe somewhat even better than a pizza. I'll cut this and put it in my plate. Just look at how delicious it is. The pastry is buttery and flaky. Put that in my plate. Time to dig in. Let me get this tomato. Mmm. That is just a match made in heaven. The firmness of the halloumi cheese and it's briny goes so good with like the, the sweetness of the tomatoes because they've roasted in the oven and they've kind of caramelized and their sweetness has come out. That pesto is just out of this world. Make sure you make your own and you don't buy it from outside. Really, it's just a few ingredients and they come together in absolutely no time. You're going to want to check this recipe out. It's always on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com. The link, you could always find it in the description box down below. It takes you right to the website. I'll also post links to the pesto sauce, as well as in the card section up here, somewhere up here. Subscribe if you guys haven't, and let me know what you want to learn how to make next. I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.